It's What's good. up everyone? And today we're going to be installing Chrome OS on a laptop. Now this here is an Intel Celeron laptop and AC Aspire Spire and uh, let's hope it works. Ash crap. <laughs> and the screen doesn't work. Alright guys, well, I had an issue with the thing actually turning on. So uh, now it's working and the uh, screen is bad. So so now, so here are our specs. We got an Intel Celeron 431.73 gigahertz and hey, one gig um, of RAM. Hey dude, um, what about... Yes, and also, I'm, I do have a, another gig of RAM right here, but... I'm gonna put that in later. Maybe I can uh, get maybe I can get Chrome OS to boot. But we'll see. Right there, there's our hard drive. It's a 160 gig, and there's our Elixir. So actually, I'm going to I'm actually going to uh, move that move that down. And now we're going to F10 and exit. So now let's see if this thing will even boot. Yeah, that's the problem with the screen. Oh, that's not right. And, ah, there we go. Yeah, so, all working. So now we're just waiting for uh, this thing to turn on. That ain't good. Or right, I'll be back. Oh, or not. We got a white screen, so I mean this thing is will run Chrome OS. We got something on the screen here. Gee, it's really shitty, but it'll work. Select a network. Okay, so the Wi-Fi does work. I'm gonna enter my password here, so I'll be back. And we're back. Connected to Wi-Fi. The problem is with the... Continue. This is actually um, an open source cloud Chrome OS, Chromium OS, the uh, original stuff proprietary. So now, so now I'm going to uh, first install this. So once this, uh, so once I get to the install, hopefully it'll work. Okay, so we are back and it installed. Look at that. The screen is shit, but here. Here, I'm going to uh, log into my uh, thing here. And I'm going to see if uh, Google serv services work. Time to enter my password. I'm not showing you a password. All right, we are in. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, looks like it uh, froze for a second. Weird. Oh, never mind. The screen just got messed up. I don't know why it's still showing a white screen here. Okay, so let's see. Choose a picture. I'm going to choose my picture. <gasps> oh! 
We have a, a little thing here going on. Howdy, Peter. Chromio, I don't want a tour. Let's take me straight to the goddamn desktop. Huh? What is this? Bro, what is this? I don't know, but it looks like it, I think it installed already this. Well, that's just weird. I'm gonna figure this out here. I think the screen is just destroyed. Yeah. So I don't know what is going on, but this thing is a is a piece of. Sh I don't know what's going on. Thing, but the screen is junk, literally. So the problem is this side is broken. This side's completely fine, and nothing show up on the damn screen. Probably because somebody dropped it. No. That's. That's a brightness. Hey, Peter. Okay, so actually, it did not actually install. So now, I'm, I actually uh, looked it up, and this is how you uh, install Chrome OS. You have to go. Let's see if the camera down. You have to do Control Alt T. Let me do that really quick. This is going to bring up the. Uh, bring up the chrome terminal thing yeah it's taking a while though because it's doing it off of flash drive right, huh you can update chrome os yeah right? chrome os is updatable yeah and to uh do it once it loads there we go you have to type crow sure. nose Right here. No? Oh, hold on a second. I got a uh, tutorial here that I looked up. Yeah, I forgot. You actually have to go into the developer console for this. So, so you have to uh, run this as root. So, first you have to type Chronos. I think the password is root. Oh shit. I gotta actually set a password. sudo bash promo last set dev. Password. Oh, all right, guys. I'm actually going to uh, do this really quick, and then um, I'm gonna go. Okay, I well, I figured it out. You actually have to go down here into the corner, click your profile pic, and click install Cloud Ready right here, and then it gives you the, and allows you to go here. So now we're gonna do Cloud Ready standalone, erase hard drive, and now we're gonna wait. Well, guys. So uh, looks like looks like it's. All good now so supposedly what you got to do is you, know, you just gotta let it sit at the uh, installer screen until the computer just turns off which it just did so now I am going to turn the computer on and uh, oh my remove the flash drive so we're not booting off the flash drive well now we're going to turn it on and see if it turns on once, uh, once my TV turns on, there we go. And then I'll put some more RAM in it. There's our BIOS. Uh oh. Your laptop's almost dead. It's on the charger. Moment of truth. Will it boot to a cloud ready screen? It does. Out the door. Let's see how long this sucker takes to boot. Jeez, this thing is slow. Hello? 
Laptop. Hello. Power glove. Got a white screen on there, but a black screen on here. So I don't know. I don't know if that's good, good or not. Okay, so it looks like the uh, thing reset itself back to the installer. So now I gotta re redo this whole thing again. My input my password. And now just basic Chrome OS setup. Okay, I'm going to input my... Remember this? Email and password, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so, well, this is, oh my, it's not actually a blue screen, it's still Chrome OS, but, but, it work, everything works now, and as you can see, this thing, in my opinion, is, is a dog. I mean, seriously. This thing is pretty sl pretty slow when it comes to like accessing files. Watch all apps and watch how long it takes to actually load up something. Well, right now, well, it's still pretty slow. It's not SSD fast. This is not an SSD by any means. Let's, uh, I think it's a SATA 1 drive, which I'm using. So, here, yeah, let's play some uh, YouTube and see how it handles YouTube. Overall, uh, on one gigabyte of RAM, browsing speed is actually decent in this thing. Here, let's um, let's do one of my videos that I do not want any copyright strikes. The screen is still messed up though. All right, so here. Hey, uh, could you, uh, turn the music off for a second? I just need to make sure YouTube works. You have headphones? Oh, yeah. You do. Hey, okay, let's try, let's see how YouTube plays. Let's see how these headphones work. The sound does work. What's three? It look, it seems to be working. See, this thing could handle. See, this thing will handle uh, 720p. Probably won't. Alright, it won't play 720p smoothly, but will it play 480 smoothly? Well, 480 plays okay. Oh, wow. Chrome OS runs like a dream. A little, a little sluggish in the menus, but it works. So now I'm going to add this extra uh, stick of RAM here. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I put the uh, extra stick of RAM in, and now it turned on, and actually turned on a little faster. I am going to do a restart test, but this is my uh, Google thing here. It is a little laggy because it's only a lot of single core. Google has a thing. Yeah, here's my drive, and uh, now we're going to run. And let's see. Let's go. I'm at, all right. I'm gonna go to uh, Google Plus here, which is a pretty intensive site. It even uh, lags on my iPad on the, the desktop version, at least. Oh, this one seems to run okay. Uh, 
All right, let's go to the classic Google Plus. And there we go. It's loading, it's loading. Yeah, the reason it's slow is because my internet's slow. Well, it's going. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like this thing runs decently. Yeah, so the thing runs actually, the, the computer runs okay, just that, uh, just gets bogged down when you get into like some intensive sites or something. But hey, what do you expect? It's an old computer, so. Well, it looks like now, it looks like now it's the end of the video, so we turn this thing into a freaking Chromebook, which is awesome. So, I'll see you guys later.